I got into safety fairly ignobly. When I was a fourth year medical student, my father had been misdiagnosed with cancer. We found out he needed a bone marrow transplant, but it was too far advanced, and he uh, came home and died needlessly, and he writhed in pain for a week. And palliative care wasn't what it is now. And I got convinced that patients deserve better than our health care system often provides them. I went on to train and do a PhD, and I was incredibly moved, motivated, to solve safety problems after an adorable little girl died of a catheter infection. She looked hauntingly like my daughter and was born just days apart. And her mother challenged us and said, could you tell me that this won't happen again? And at the time, I, I couldn't. Our infection rates were sky high. And I believed she deserved an answer, and we committed to give her one. To err is human galvanized the country about this problem of medical errors. And we've made progress. Uh, we're talking about it more. We've learned uh, a great deal. Uh, but we have a ways to go. The future, I think, holds great promise. Uh, one will be much more robust measures of patient harm. You know, we've been at this now for over 15 years, and the truthful answer of how many people died needlessly from medical error is we don't know. That's shameful from a policy level. We ought to invest in measurement to know those answers. After the little girl's mother challenged us if we can be better, we started right here in our own home to see if we can solve it. And we went from having uh, quite high infection rates, over 11 per thousand catheter days, to over a year with zero. We then took that program and packaged it in a scalable and easily implementable way, put it across the whole state of Michigan, reduced infections there within six months by 67%, and then spread that program state by state by state across the U.S., working with the American Hospital Association, with the CDC. It was funded by the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality. And through that combined work of many, these infections now are down over 80%. I'm Peter Pronovost. I'm a critical care physician, and I serve as the Johns Hopkins Medicine Senior Vice President for Patient Safety and Quality and the director of the Armstrong Institute for Patient Safety and Quality at Johns Hopkins Medicine.